Okie dokie. Well, I lost my video. Um, it just decided to quit recording. And uh, so what we got here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> What's that cool hand, Luke? Um, anyway. Damn hippies. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, like I said, um, there's a, a USB micro to USB-C or standard USB to um, USB-C that needs to be had so I can plug the camera in to show you guys um, what's... Uh, occurring. Um, I'll uh, see if I can show you this little uh, doohickey here. Um, the camera fits down the valve guide fine, but there's uh, this whole deal is uh, heat shrunk and there's just enough of a bump there that it won't quite go into the guide. Um, I messed with it with a little 320 grit sandpaper, and it's uh, much better. Uh, I think uh, a little more work with the sandpaper, and it will fit down the guide very nicely. Otherwise, I can stick it down the spark plug hole also. Um, but I want to I want to put it down the guide so that when I grab a hold of the valve inside the cylinder with, uh, I've got a 12 inch forcep with a little um, 3D printed jaw at the end of it that'll uh, grab the valve and make it very controllable. And uh, I wanna be able to look at the end of the valve as it comes up the guide. And uh, this ought to be pretty easy. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's a lot better than spending $400 on pieces parts to uh, do an R&R &R on the cylinder head. You know, that engine's been together for 200,000 miles. I don't really want to disturb it. It's a nice working system at this point. So, um, yeah, I've got to find that adapter. Um, really kind of dismayed that the adapter didn't come with but uh, such is life when you buy high-tech equipment for eight dollars and 89 cents shipped that was free shipping uh, a little bit of tax in there but yeah um, further updates will be coming later bye